previously on your program, Word of Hope. Don't be a gambler. There are many believers who are living their life as a gambler and they wonder why they are not at the top. You gamble in. You gamble in your life away. You gamble in your time away. You gamble in your resources away. You, 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 <laughs> you invest in everybody but the one who guarantees you a good return. Thank you for tuning in to your program, Word of Hope. We pray that today's message will empower, inspire, and build up your faith to be even stronger. Your life as you know it will not be the same. There is no better time than right now through a word of hope. And as we journey throughout the year 2023, we must keep this living hope that we've been talking about alive within us. And, and this hope that we've been talking about is not just a, a, a wishful thinking, but it's carrying within ourselves that blessed confidence that God is who he says he is and that he will do what he has promised to do if we remain steadfast and don't allow the enemy to cause us to shift from our stand of faith or our stand of hope. I'm not telling you that life will be bad of roses. You know, Jesus said, in this world you will have what? But you see, when you journey through life with hope, the trials of life don't knock you out easily. When you keep hope alive within you, the trials of life don't knock you out easily. In, 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 in the Bible, you'll find many people who were known as prisoners of hope. Prisoners of hope. In fact, uh, in, in the book of Zechariah 9 12, it says, Call on to me the prisoners of hope. For even today I declare that I will reward you double for your hope. God says when he finds a prisoner of hope, what is a prisoner of hope? A prisoner of hope is the one who refuses to give in to the darkness around him, around her. Because the hope that he carries within himself, the hope that she carries within herself, lets her know that there will be light regardless of the darkness around. Let me tell you something. Every dark night is bound to face the morning light. You know, sometimes the night can be very wide. Dark. And the darkness at times can be so thick that you can feel it. But in the morning, I say in the morning. Can I hear somebody say in the morning? I hear the scripture says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. I said joy cometh in the morning. Sometimes it gets dark, but while it is dark, that living hope lets you know, child, you only need to hold on. Joy is coming. You're going to dance again. You're going to skip again. You're going to shout again. It is not over until God 
not say that it is over. I want to tell somebody as you enter 2023, keep hope alive. Because this biblical hope that I am talking to you about lets you know that it doesn't matter how dark the night may be, but in the morning, somebody say in the morning, somebody say in the morning. Joy cometh. I say joy cometh. Joy cometh. I say joy cometh. Joy cometh. Hallelujah. 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 So the Bible talks to us about a whole lot of people. They were prisoners of hope. Why they were prisoners of hope? Because they knew that weeping, that sorrow, that trouble may endure for a night. But if you can hold on until the dawn of the morning, you will see the light. We will be right back with your program, Word of Hope. There are many people in life, including Christians, and we ourselves in the past and time to time fall into this where they find themselves frustrated in life they find themselves angry annoyed overwhelmed in life not so much because of the problem that is before them but many times the reason for the frustration and the reason for the overwhelmingness and the annoyances is due to the fact that they are imbalanced in life. Balance brings stability. And when we find ourselves unbalanced in life, it doesn't matter what area of our lives, it is a lot easier for us to become frustrated. It's a lot easier for us to snap in anger when we are unbalanced in life. It's a lot easier for things to annoy us when we are living unbalanced in life. But what people are looking for is stability. There's so much lack of stability in the world that as soon as someone shows stability in their life, they become a magnet to other people. People are wanting to see stability in the life of Christians. Say, I love people, but I must love me too. Come on. Say, I love work, but I must love family time too. I love to be around people, but I got to love my serenity too. I love coming to church, but I gotta love being alone with my God too. Everything is balanced. Everything is balanced. Amen. My name is Tebo Hosomo. I stay at um, 11th Avenue. I stay in Alexander Township. I came to TTOR on 2019 May. I'm currently a member. Before I came here, I used to um, stay with my partner, which he didn't marry. Then one day I decided to go back home because um, due to our cheating, teachings here at church, I had to uh, take some personal decisions regarding my faith, regarding my relationship with God. I didn't take my Bible seriously. I used to pray, but not committed. I just pray for the sake of praying. So since I came here from 2019, I'm committed to my prayers. I do my Bible studies. I encourage my children to come to church with me. So it's something that we always agree upon. We don't, we don't disagree, we just come. And then, um, since I've committed myself here, um, God has been great to me. Um, last year, November, I think, uh, 2021, I won an award due to my performance. 
I'm currently doing parenting groups um, just here in Alexander and then I got rewarded, I won my award and later on that month I got promoted. Now I'm a permanent at our organization uh, since the beginning of November. God was good. The time I was appointed, it was my birthday month. So I signed my contract, a new contract before my birthday, which was a great blessing to me. Since then, God has been good to me. Uh, my second born child, um, she passed her metric very well for 2021. So she's still waiting for the response from the varsity. So far, God has been great to me. I'm able to pray on my own. I'm able to read my Bible. I'm able to share what has been happening to me since I'm a member here. Thank you. We invite you to connect with us on our YouTube channel at TTORNY. This is your season that God has appointed you to connect to us so that you can see the glory and the manifestation of God's power in your life, your home, and also in your health. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on that bell so you will be notified every time we are on live. No matter where you are around the world, there is a blessing for you. Hello, bonjour. Hello and good morning. Get your cup of coffee or tea and be ready to be encouraged, empowered, and inspired by the Word of God with Bishop Angelo Barbosa. Hello, my name is Patrick Jones and I'm here to testify of the greatness that God has done for myself and my family. My oldest son got himself into a situation with other friends. Upon that, the judge had sentenced him to 25 years. We were believing God, I was believing God to do what he does for my son. Within that, going to court, trusting God, coming to church, Myself, my other sons were in church, believing God to turn around the situation. One service, uh, a declaration was made, and I trust, trusting God, I sowed a seed, believing that the next court date, my son will be coming home. And when I went to court that morning, I saw everyone confused. I anointed my to other sons and everyone that was with us with the oil that I had. While sitting there, the judge said to his attorney, mind you, we had a legal aid attorney, said to the attorney, why is Mr. Jones incarcerated still? At that time, we're believing that, okay, this is what's gonna happen. You know, he's gonna come home. And with into that, my son was set home that same day. This is after the service that I was in a week or so before, trusting God, sowing the seed. And every family service, I sowed seed on my son, trusting God for him to come home. Now my son have been home. The charge was dropped from conspiracy. So being ROR home, and he has been set free. He's home now with us. Um, since then, he had a baby, and things are going good for us. From 25 years to nothing, just trusting God, believing in God, praying along with the servants, my pastor, believing that God will intervene and do what he does best.
light of God's glory you will see the light of God's faithfulness you will see the light of God's healing or you may be going through some dark moment but I hear the Lord saying tell my people tonight that joy is coming I say joy is coming for some of you 2022 was like a night it was dark it was challenging but I hear the Lord saying 2023 is the, your morning is your morning joy is coming joy is coming for you I said joy joy is coming for you in 2023 you will skip for joy you will dance you will leap you will sing you will shout you will testify oh, hallelujah hallelujah stand to your feet and shout hallelujah hallelujah whatever you do <laughs> I say whatever you do <laughs> keep hope alive <laughs> I say whatever you do <laughs> keep hope alive <laughs> I want to remind you <laughs> of Psalms 27 13 <laughs> where David said <laughs> I would have lost heart <laughs> unless I believed <laughs> that I would see <laughs> the goodness of the Lord <laughs> in the land of the living <laughs> I in 2023 you're going to see the goodness of the Lord you're going to see the faithfulness of the Lord you're going to see the miracle work and power of the Lord shout amen somebody hallelujah 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 we are not gamblers we are not gambling in the kingdom we are investors i say we are investing in the kingdom we are investing in our prayer we are investing in our fasting we are investing in our worship we are investing in our study in the word of god we are investing when we participate in our church services joy is coming I said joy is coming I said joy is coming hallelujah lift your hands unto the Lord and in this spirit of faith and in this hope I want us to unify our faith tonight all of you present in the house of the Lord all of you connected from different parts of the world all of you that will be watching this in upcoming hours and days or months I want you to unify your faith with us we want to come together tonight uh, to declare and decree uh, that the assault and the insult uh, and the abuse of the enemy uh, ends here tonight uh, I say and here tonight uh, whatever the enemy had done uh, to try to cripple you uh, to confuse your mind uh, to disturb your spirit uh, we put an end to it tonight uh, we put an end to it tonight oh God almighty stretch out your hands tonight to crush the hands of the enemy tonight I come to uproot every seed of destruction that the enemy had planted in the ground of anyone's life under the sound of my voice I say Satan, get your 
hands off get your hands off this woman's life get your hands off this man's life get your hands off this home get your hands off this family get your hands off this marriage get your hands off those children the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus cancel every hell's assignment somebody begin to break every curse say you will not follow me into 2023 say you will not follow me into 2023 begin to declare begin to declare tonight servants of God begin to pray walk among the congregation begin to pray we cancel in the enemy's assignment before midnight we're going to settle some issues in the name of Jesus every dark power every evil force every stronghold fall to the ground fall to the ground say in the name of Jesus Everybody lift your hands in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command every assignment of the enemy against my life. Against my life. Against my body. Against my mind. Against my spirit. Say it like you mean it. Against my purpose. Against my destiny. Every seed of opposition. Against my growth. Against my success. So I come against you tonight. I come against you tonight. Don't think you crazy because you pray in, in faith. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. For if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, they shall pray. Oh, pray. 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 Pray against the enemy's arrows. Pray against the enemy's attack. Pray against the enemy's assignment. Pray tonight. Pray against every attack on your life. Every attack on your home. Every attack on your children. Every attack on your relationship. My God sent fire tonight. My God sent fire tonight tonight send fire burn up the works of the enemy burn up the works of the enemy burn up the works of the enemy lift your hands lift your hands say every spirit say every spirit come on say every spirit Say every spirit that was a sign that was a sign against me, against my family, against my home. Say every spirit that was a sign against my life. I bind you tonight. Come on, say it. I bind you tonight. You're not crossing over. 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 Every spirit of barrenness. Every spirit of destructive habits. Every spirit of confusion. Every spirit of discouragement. Every spirit of fear. Every spirit of blockage. Lose hold of God's people. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Pray. Say in the name of Jesus. 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 I cast away. I cast away every assignment. 
Bushanda la Bahaya, Rebeko Sata Marakondo, Deliverance, 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 Rabababa Kandara Basaya, Deliverance, 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 Deliverance for you, Deliverance for your loved one, Deliverance in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Deliverance, every stronghold, every stronghold must go tonight, yeah, 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 Deliverance, Deliverance, I hear the Lord say we hope that you were blessed by today's message. To find out more about our ministry, log on to www.restorationtime.com. For prayer, you can call 718-622-4821. That's 718-622-4821. You can also contact us on social media at T-T-O-R-N-Y. Until next week, stay blessed in Jesus' name.